What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right. So before I get into his videos, a couple things I want to say. I want to give a shout out to the brother Aram for the donation to the channel via the uh, PayPal. Much respected him for showing love to the channel once again. I truly uh, appreciate you, man. Your, your comments, the love you show this channel. You know, I really truly appreciate you. Um. Other thing I want to say is, look, man, I had to block somebody that's been subscribed to me for several years, um, but I had to finally do it because one thing that I, I don't allow on my channel, look, people get to express their opinions in, in ways that other channels don't allow people to talk. You know, I believe in freedom of speech, freedom of expression, you know. But one thing that you're not going to do on my channel is name call me or other people. Okay, I don't do it to my subscribers. Um, I try not to let my comment section devolve into like name calling and the lowest common denominator BS. We could disagree. We could even get mad and have an argument. But when you start name calling or calling people stupid and all that you, you can't be on my channel bro get get your ass on somewhere else and i would let some dude slide <coughs> for doing that man benefit of doubt benefit of doubt but then i just start seeing a pattern with this guy i had to block him so anyway just want to put that out there man god man we we are supposed to be we're supposed to be civilized human beings we can't have a conversation without name calling and yeah, sometimes I do say things in jest, but I don't know these people. I don't interact with these people. You know what I'm saying? I interact with you all. Some of you guys have been interacting with me on here. Even though we don't know each other in person, we've been interacting for years. You still name calling and saying all this other stupid stuff? But anyway, let me report this. Let me talk about this. So, yesterday... Uh, audio recordings became available to major news outlets. And um, these recordings that will likely be admitted as evidence against uh, former President Trump in his upcoming federal trial. The, in these audio recordings, he literally admits to doing the thing he's being prosecuted for. And... Um, it, it, it really, look, at this point, I don't care about political, party affiliation, ideology, none of that stuff. This is an idiot right here. This is an idiot. But at the same time, right, has he ever really been held accountable, accountable for anything he's ever done wrong? No, he hasn't. And uh, until he actually gets held accountable, a lot of people like myself and others, we're skeptical of if anything's ever going to happen to this guy. So anyway, for a brief catch-up, after the former president was indicted on 37 counts related to his illegal possession of classified documents after leaving the White House and also the limps he went to deceive government officials about it, it was reported that there were recordings backing the prosecutor's case and because of this the former president is in deeper trouble than anyone could have imagined in his classified documents case and uh, the 45th president was taped casually chatting with his staff about highly confidential documents at a July 2021 meeting in Bedminster, uh, New Jersey the get-together was supposed to be centered around a writer, also in the room, penning a memoir about Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, but it soon devolved into a conversation about a secret plan against Iran drawn up by Defense Department General Mark Milley. The two-minute recording, featured Monday night on CNN's Anderson Cooper 360, starts off with Trump purportedly grabbing the sensitive docs and rustling them in his hands. Trump then says, this thing just came up. This was Millie. 
This was the Defense Department and him. He then points out that the docs are highly confidential, secret. This is secret information. Isn't that incredible? Then Trump makes an incriminating admission stating, See, as president, I could have declassified it, but now I can't. A woman in the room responds, Now we have a problem, but then she starts laughing. Um, look. At this point, I don't see how he doesn't ultimately... I don't see how he doesn't ultimately be found guilty. But, even if he's found guilty, right? What's really going to happen? Is is there anything that's really going to happen where he's actually going to prison? We need to see these things. If I see it, if we actually see reports, we see him actually going to prison. Then we'll actually believe that, okay, maybe, maybe in this country, if you commit a crime of that magnitude, no matter who you are, you'll be penalized for it. Because when I look at the President of the United States, they pretty much get away with anything they want to do. You know, I mean, when you think about it, even though it was not illegal, we've had several presidents who were slave owners and still have uh, buildings and monuments in their honor, named in their honor. I think the latest, I think the the latest president in the timeline to own slaves, I'm not mistaken, was Ulysses S. Grant, who himself had a very corrupt administration, one of the most corrupt, probably the second most corrupt behind either. Uh, Nixon and Harding you've had presidents who at some point in their timelines allegedly delete people and and it be told as folklore especially Andrew Jackson speaking of Andrew Johnson he was impeached barely missed being convicted and later on was elected United States Senator from his home state. You had one president, LBJ, who may have had something to do with the events of November 22nd, 1963. I'll just say may have, allegedly. Then you had one president who had to resign because of the Watergate scandal, Richard Nixon who not only was never really punished, but went on to write nine books and and become a respected elder statesman. And when he passed away in 1994, he was worth $17 million. So, yeah, I need to see that. George H.W. Bush, man, you look at some of the things that he was accused of. Bill Clinton and Hillary Mm. Biden Trump I mean even Ford if you really do your research about these guys man it's it's vile all of them even Jimmy Carter's not squeaky clean but compared to the rest of them he's decent but he's not squeaky clean either. But man, these these people are woo. And to be honest with you, this isn't even the worst stuff that this is not even the worst thing that Trump's been accused of. The worst things that he's been accused of, the news media won't even talk about. And I can't even talk about it on YouTube. But anyway, just want to put that out there, man. Tell me what you guys think. And by the way. I know a lot of you guys are Trump supporters, so you're going to say things like, don't believe everything you read, Um, who cares, Trump 2024. Ah, man, you can't be like that, man. You can't have one set of standards for one guy that you don't like, but for somebody that you do like, you know, it don't matter what they do. 
Oh, you, you cry fake news. Come on, man. That's old, man. This that fake news shit. That's two. That's so 2018. But anyway, that's all I got to say. <laughs>